Hey, Shalom on my kingdom. I want to start by giving all praises, honor, and glory unto the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, in the name of His only begotten Son, Yahweh Shai, and in the name of the Holy Spirit, the Rock HaKadosh, the Ron of the Apostles, and the elders at Great Millstone for teaching truth and for and well, and peace salutation toward you, Akim, out there pushing and defending His gospel throughout the four corners of the earth, as well as to the believers, anyhow, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. The men as well as the women, the hopeful elect. This is the brother Kahanallah from the GMS Hawaii. And I just wanted to go into this, you know, article, you know, and bring out some points, Lord willing it be edifying, showing you how, you know, this world, you know, chiefly the 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 false prophet, I mean, yeah, the false prophet, which is uh the Vatican, you know, keeps bringing forth uh Nothing but deception, man. You know, as you see on the screen, uh, this is uh, an article from CBS News. It says, Italian teenager in Carlo Acutis to become first millennial Catholic saint after second miracle attributed to him. This is from May 24, 2024. And it says, An Italian teenager who has who was informally known as God's influencer for using his computer skill, skills to spread the Catholic faith is said to become the first saint of the millennial generation, the Vatican announced on Thursday. Carlo Acut Acutis died from leukemia in 2006 at the age of 15. It says, born in London, he grew up in Milan where he man managed the website for his parish and later a Vatican-based academy. He also used his computer skills to create an online database of Eucharist miracles, Eucharistic miracles around the world. And ultimately, you know, this is nothing but um, idolatry, man. You know, they're creating a, a so-called saint, a millennial saint, Chiefly to to draw in, you know, uh, the young people, man. This is uh, so lucky. Lord willing, you know, we don't we don't get a strike uh, for a copyright for this video. But as you're gonna see, um, these these uh religious groups, but you know, in this case, speaking about the Catholic Church, they're having trouble bringing bringing new uh, new young people into the churches, man. So they need to, you know, prompt up some some character that these these millennials can relate to, man. And here you go, you got this so called saying, you know, and that's the best picture you could bring of him, uh, uh, the fucking kid with a backpack and shit and a, and a polo, you know, dressed up as a, you know, as a, what they say, millennial, you know, to, to kind of just help these kids relate, you know, to themselves. But ultimately, it's, it's, it's for what to, to bring them in, you know, but this is nothing but idolatry, man. Real quick, before we play this video, <clears throat> You know, Wisdom of Solomon 14 and verse 12. It says, For the devising of idols was the beginning of spiritual fornication and the invention of them, the corruption of life. And as we know, the, the worshiping of idols, the, the, you know, following after them is what got our people uh, destroyed, man. This, this was our, our greatest fall to worship idols, man. Because when you start worshiping idols, what happens? You let sin seep into into your into your spirit, man, and you become a, a, a sinful individual. That's what these idols do. They let you, you know, bring sin into your life, and then they tell you that it's okay to do it. <clears throat> and as we're gonna keep on reading in this article, you know that that individual he did nothing but spread. Um, or Catholic dogma, which ultimately is 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 what 
uh, the precepts of men, you know, uh, doctrines created by men, unbelieving men, you know. So let's play this video real quick and we'll go back to the scriptures. 50,000 children from around the world joining Pope Francis for the very first World Children's Day in Rome, days after the Vatican cleared the path for what could be the youngest saint of this generation. Carlo Acutis, an Italian teenager who died in 2006 of leukemia, now credited by the church for two miracles for helping heal two young people who were critically ill. It's so nice to meet you. Today, his mom Antonia telling me Carlo was a normal kid with an extraordinary heart. Since he was small, he was a special child, very generous, helping the others. His and there's, you know, uh, amongst Jay, you know, there's a lot of you know, benevolent uh, Jakes out here, man, that are, you know, genuinely lost, trying to seek Yahweh Hashem Yahweh and ultimately fall under the, the deception of, of, of religion, man. So it, it, there's nothing really special about this person, you know, all all brothers in the faith, we, we are, you know, merciful. We, you know, help one another, like the scriptures speak about, uh, you know, having uh, charity, all those stuff, all those things, but towards who? Towards the the believers, not just random people, man. The scriptures say, know who thou do is good to. But, you know, Jake in the world, they think it's just like, oh, yeah, just help everybody. And that's not, that's not what the, what the scriptures tell us to do, man. You're supposed to help the, the, the believing body. Let's keep on playing. Mom this. says he was a boy who loved video games, loved soccer, and used the internet and kind deeds to spread the word of God. Religious scholars say a Saint Carlo could be a game changer for the church struggling to recruit the next generation. You see, for the church struggling to recruit the next generation. So what's going on? That means that they're seeing the 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 elderly, you know, the older population. You know, they're dying. They're you know they. They don't work anymore. They don't got as much money to be given the church. So they need to what? Recruit the next generation, man, into believing their, their, their doctrine. You know, something that they said was what? That he spread God's word and which reality uh, he's not spreading the word of God. He's spreading the, the, the gospel of, of Esau, Edom, you know, <clears throat> which is a, a, a all accepting, all loving God. That lets you do whatever you want, you know. Uh, the Pope, out of the Pope's mouth, you know, this it, it has came out many, many uh, abominations, many, you know, uh, false doctrines, man, that have nothing to do with the with the gospel, man. And again, this is just a creation of an idol, you know. And like we're going into in the book of Ecclesi uh, Wisdom of Solomon, it says, For the devising of idols was the beginning of spiritual fornication and the invention of them, the corruption of life. For neither were they from the beginning, neither shall they be forever. So where was this dude <coughs> in the beginning? You know, how is he a saint? We know that the, the, the true saints the elect the 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 first fruits of the heavenly father man first and foremost is, is his son Yahushai. and then you got the elect that helped the heavenly father and his son build everything we see and we don't see man the spirit world the the the, the world the universe that's what they did they helped build everything and their saints meaning what well holy you know the saints is 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 are, are Israelites that that are what that are holy that are separate unto the heavenly Father. And how and what makes them separate? The truth. You know these these people just prompt up some fucking kid, and even all the other idols that they have, they just prompt them up there. <clears throat> As idols, man. And each one of those idols come with a with a with a with a doctrine, you know. They got same this, same that, same a bunch of idols, man. I believe the Catholic Church has a a saint for every for every day of the year, you know. And in those days, people you know celebrate each saint 
according to whatever doctrine they come, you know, they come with. And you're going to hear what supposedly this this dude, I, well, actually, I don't know if they mention it here, but we'll read it on the article, what supposedly he he's, he's uh, attributed a saint for. Could it be possible that St. Carlo would be the new patron saint of the Internet? Absolutely. NBC contributor Kathleen Sprose Cummings authored the book A Saint of Our Own. What do you think the impacts of this could be? They are captivated by Carlo's story. They see him, they, they marvel that he wears jeans, he wore Nike sneakers. He's someone that they can see themselves in. And where sainthood can take decades, even centuries, Carlo could become a saint by the end of next year. Carlo's mom finding peace in a legacy with no bounds. I think uh, uh, Carlo can be a, an example also for non-believers. Marissa Parra, NBC News. You see, so it's, it's pretty much a, a recruiting tactic, man. Um, let's read. Let's keep on reading this real quick in this article. It says, uh, "Born in London, he grew up a millennial in Salaka. He grew up in Milan, where he managed." the website for for his parish and later a vatican based academy he also used his computer skills to create an online database of eucharistic miracles around the world so again he was spreading what a, a false doctrine it says the teenager was beatified the first step towards sainthood in 2020 after one miracle was attributed to him and that miracle acutis is credited with healing a Brazilian child of a congenital <clears throat> <clears throat> congenital disease affecting his pancreas. So, uh, again, he so-called performed a, a miracle uh, after he died. So what miracle is that? Nothing. You see, the one that, that, that cures these people or, or does the so-called miracle ultimately is the Heavenly Father, man. You see? But they have already made this this individual a uh, 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 idol, you know. That's why when 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 um <clears throat> I don't remember who it was exactly at the moment, but you know, they're, they're, in the scriptures it speaks about you know uh, uh, that the Lord is the one that gives the increase. You know, because they were speaking about, you know, some some are of Paul, some of our are, are of, of other, you know, uh, disciples. But ultimately, uh, the Heavenly Father is the one that gives the increase. And in that account, what was going on? They were, not that they were doing it wickedly, but pretty much they were, they were like um, attributing their belief and, and the their uh, salvation in a sense, you know, to to those that preach the gospel and not to the Heavenly Father, man, which this is what what's going on here. There's people that believe in the doctrine that he was speaking, that he was spreading, and they saw him as like, oh, look, this is the, because of this person, I believe, or because of this person, I'm, I'm, um, uh, I'm, I'm following the word of of God, which, you know, there's nothing wrong with giving reverence to, to, to the elders if they're, you know, teaching the correct doctrine. But from that to to, to um, worshiping them is, is a whole nother story, man. And this is what's happening here. You know, people probably heard him speak or spread the gospel, <clears throat> what they call the so-called gospel, which is a false doctrine. And he passed away and they started praying to him, which that's wicked. You know, the scriptures specifically tell us not to pray unto angels or to the dead. So these people were what? Worshiping, praying unto him. And then, you know, some of them might have had a disease. Well, it only speaks about two miracles, so called. So, you know, that person that had the pancreatic. Or pancreas conge congestion disease or whatever the fuck this was and then you have this other one it says on Thursday Pope Francis attributed a second miracle to a, a Kutis during a meeting with the head of the Vatican saint making the parma you see 
<laughs> you can't make this up, man. It says Cardinal Mar Marcelo Semarano. The second miracle involved the healing of a university student in Florence who had brain bleed after suffering head trauma, CBS News partner BBC News reported. You see? So ultimately, is Yahweh Bashim Yahushai the one that healed these people, man? But for some odd reason, the miracles are being attributed to this to this kid, you know? And he's being made a saint by who? By <laughs> By the, the the head of the Vatican scene making department, you see, and that's not who makes the scenes. The, the one who makes the scenes is is uh ultimately how Bashimi was shy, you know. Th this is uh, and he does it through what through the cleansing of your spirit by the word. It's our uh, First Corinthians one and one. It says Paul called to be an apostle of Yahweh Shai Hamashiach through the will of the Most High. And Suthnes, so like and Sosthenes, our brother, unto the church of the heavenly Father, <clears throat> which is in at Corinth, to them that are sanctified in Hamashiach Yahushai, called to be saints, with all that in that in every place called upon the name of Yahushai Hamashiach our Lord, both theirs and ours you see so the saints are who those that were sanctified in the name of Yahweh Bashim Yahusha and Yahweh Bashim Yahusha was not preaching uh what the Vatican is preaching he was not preaching the deification of men you know to become <clears throat> to become uh, uh idols or to be worshipped that's not what he was doing, you see. He was preaching uh, 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 the truth ultimately, and according to to what the Catholic Church uh, believes, is is pretty much the complete opposite, man. You see, let's keep on reading. It says the attribution of a second miracle means acutis uh, can be elevated to sainthood, but the Vatican did not say when this would happen. And again, you become a saint through what? Through, through purifying yourself, through becoming uh, uh, close unto the Most High. And and what makes us close to the Most High? In corruption, you know, the the, the practicing, the, the, the loving of the law of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh which is righteous. That's what makes us, you know, holy and, and saints, uh, blameless, spiritually blameless, man. Not spreading uh, Catholic dogma, you see. It says, Acutis uh, died in Monza, Italy. His body was moved to Assisi a year after his death and is on full display alongside other relics linked to him. He was also named a patron of last year's World Youth Day in Lipson because of his important role in evangelization through the internet organizers of the event said <clears throat> at the time Reuters reported you see so <clears throat> ultimately you know they're they're trying to say that he his his song uh, his spread of the gospel through the internet is what what became what made him a saint. I had read somewhere else, or oh, it might have been in another article. Cause yeah, this one is that was pretty much it on that one. But um, you know, I I read that what that that he used to help out the poor and you know go to the soup kitchens and volunteer and all this stuff, which you know. Hey, like I mentioned, Jake, you know, Jake has a a, a heart of, of helping, you know, but uh, ultimately that's not, those are not works uh, of the Lord, man. Those are not the works of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh We were not put here to, to you know, organize soup kitchens and fucking help the, the, the poor and the, 
Now the the poor that is speaking of and those that the scriptures tell us to help is who the the poor which are who the saints the 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 true saints the true believers in Yahweh Hashem I was shy man um real quick let's well this one is pretty good I put saint definition in Bible it says in the Bible the word saint is used to describe someone who is holy and set apart for God's purposes you see and again holy is holy the word holy means what a uh, a uh, separate like it says here set apart for God's purpose and what is God's purpose that we spread the true gospel man you know the scriptures say <clears throat> the scriptures tell us that <clears throat> well Yahweh Shah himself said you know the the time will come where the true worshipers will worship in spirit and in truth you see and this whole time that the Vatican, you know, or the well, Catholic Church has been around, it's been nothing but unbelievers, man. And everything that's came out of there is 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 a corruption of the gospel. <clears throat> but through the spirit of Yahweh Hashem Yahushai, you know, our elders, our apostles have received the true word and have taught it to us, and we practice it and teach it to to <clears throat> to others man that believe not to everybody we like we always say we don't we're not forcing this down anybody's throat or you know going door to door and telling you oh you gotta know man if 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 this word is for you if, if your spirit resonates with this word or this word resonates with your spirit then hey the the most high is making a calling Um, real quick, it says the term is used in the Old Testament, such as in Exodus 31 and 13, Leviticus 11 and 45, and Daniel 7 and 18. In the New Testament, the Apostle Paul offer, often refers to the recipients of his letters as saints, including the Church of Corinth. Paul says to the church, or oh, which we just read that precept, you see, but ultimately, what makes you a, a, a saint is uh is uh the the word man the word the the true understanding of the words of Yahweh by Hashem <clears throat> everything that is outside of that outside of the temple is is defiled man so let's read let's finish reading here in the book of Solomon 14 um Let's start at 12 again. It says, For the devising of idols was the beginning of spiritual fornication, and the invention of them the corruption of life. For neither were they from the beginning, neither shall they be forever. And we saw that that kid being, you know, made a saint. And it's for what? For the corruption of, of the life of these young people, man. It says, For by the vain glory of men, with, of men they entered into the world, and therefore shall they come shortly to an end. And what did we read here? It says <laughs> that uh, Acutus was uh, made a saint by uh, the Vatican's saint-making department, showing you that it's what? Made of, of, of men. It says, for by the vain glory of man, they entered into the world. And therefore shall they come shortly to an end. You see? But the true saints of Yahweh Hashem Yahushai are brought forth by, by what? By the, by their actions, by the, the example, you know, that that they give to to the world, and chiefly to the world of 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 Israel, because again, to the heathens, the ways of Yahweh Hashem Yahushai are are, you know, of another fashion, like the scriptures say, you know, they. It, it's not um. It doesn't match their energy So to them the ways of the Lord is like What? Nah fuck that That's why you know These heathen nations cling unto what? Unto Christianity and Catholicism That tell you that what? That the Lord loves everybody man Which is a lie 
uh, verse 15, it says, For a father afflicted with an un untimely mourning, which this could be an example of, you know, the the saints of the ancient world, and even now, you know, as you're going to see, the, the, the scriptures tell us that, you know, somebody passes away and the, and men bring forth an idol, you know, it says, for a father afflicted with an untimely mourning, when he hath made an image of his child soon taken away, now honoreth him as a God, which was then a dead man and delivered to those that were under him ceremonies and sacrifices. And this is exactly what we're seeing here, man. You see, although the Pope wasn't his father or the Catholic Church, but it's pretty much what they're doing. Um, a, a person that's now a dead man, they're making him what? Into a, into a god, into an idol. You see? And then forcing them to what? It says, and delivered to those that were under him ceremonies and sacrifices. And this is what we're seeing. The Vatican giving the, the, the so-called uh, church, the congregation, uh, another saint. You know, so that he could be worshipped. It says, A thus in progress of time, an ungodly custom grown strong was kept as a law, and graven images were worshipped by the commandments of kings. And to an extent, you know, the, the Pope, the people running the Vatican, they're kings, man. They ruling spiritually and even physically, man, over a lot of people, man. And they're, again, giving these people an, an, an idol, giving him, the, well, he hasn't become a saint, per se, as of yet. But, like we read, you know, they're trying to make it to make him a saint to what? To, to bring forth the young generation. And guess what? If he does become a saint, according to the Vatican, uh, they're going to give him a day of worship, man. And in that day, people are going to have to worship like, hey, you come to church this day or oh, today is Saint or oh, whatever the fuck this kid's name was, uh, Saint Carlo Acutis day. And now you end up going to a church, a Catholic church, worshiping this dead man that was far from a saint because you so-called are a Catholic. You see, it says verse 17 whom men could not honor in presence because they dwelt far off, uh, they took the counterfeit of his visage far from far and made an express image of a king whom they honored to the end that by this their forwardness they might flatter him that was absent as if he were present as if he were present. You see? So again nothing but uh um, idol worship coming forth from uh, the, the Catholic Church and uh, last one right here in the same chapter was the most Solomon 14 and 27 it says for the worshipping of idols not to be named is the beginning the cause and the end of all evil and this is what we're seeing and hey Jake in the world you know our people are lost in, in Catholicism and Christianity so Hey, ultimately, the Heavenly Father gave them up to that, but we see uh, the we see the corruption coming out of these churches, man, and it's not according to it's not according to what they're doing. It's not according to the word of the Most High, man. It's according to the to the word of men. So, hey, with that, I came. I hope the lesson was edifying. The quick lesson was edifying. Lord willing, until next time, a shalom.